A very good morning, children. So I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Okay, you had enjoyed a lot in the Sunday. And today, let us get back to our maths class. Okay, so in the last class, we had done how to find, how to reduce a fraction to its lowest form. So when I say a fraction in its lowest form, what do I mean? The numerator and denominator of the function will have no, will have no common factors besides 1. Okay, for example, 1 by 2. Okay, I'm taking a very easy example, 1 by 2. In 1 by 2, the numerator 1 and the denominator 2 have no common factor besides 1. Okay, and they cannot be cancelled out. They cannot be reduced further. So there were two ways we had learned how to convert a fraction to its lowest form. The first one was using the HCF method. What is the HCF method? In the HCF method, you find the highest common factor of the numerator and the denominator and then divide the numerator and the denominator with the highest common factor. Okay. And the next one was the cutting out method. Okay. Where we did the, the division method where we had divided the numerator repeatedly with the with the factor okay all right so see children if it is written in your book if the question states that you have to find you have to reduce the fraction using hcf you have to use the hcf method okay if it is given in the question that you have to find it out by using division method you have to use the division method, all right? So, in this question of question number 13 of workbook exercise 9.2, page 15, we, are, we have to use it using the HCF method. It is given in the question and that is why we are going to use the HCF method, okay? All right. So, in the HCF method, what was the first step? In the HCF method, what was the first step? The first step was to find HCF of numerator and denominator, right? Numerator and denominator. So here the numerator is 65. If you prime factorize 65, you will find that 5 goes by 13 will give you 65. Right? And if you prime factorize 91, if you prime factorize 91, you will see that 7 multiplied by 13 will give you 91. Okay? So 65 can be written as 5 multiplied by 13. 7 can, 91, 91 can be written as 7 multiplied by 13, which is the common factor. The highest common factor is 13. Okay, the highest common factor is 13. So 65 divided by 91 can be written as 5 multiplied by 13 and 9, 7, 7 multiplied by 13. Okay, since the highest common factor is 13, cancel out 13. What are you left with? You are left with 5 divided by 7. Okay. So what is your answer? Your answer is 5, div 5 by 7. Okay children. I hope it is clear. Alright. So let us try another one. Okay. Let us try question number 13b. Let us try question number 13b. In your question number 13b, you have to reduce the given fraction 14 by 49 using the HCF method. Okay. So 14, if you prime factorize, what will you get? You will get 7 multiplied by 2 is 14. 49, if you prime factorize, you will get 7 multiplied by 7 is 49. Write it out. Numerator can be written as 7 into 2. Denominator can be written as 7 multiplied by 7. Okay. Can
cancel out the common terms, you are left with 2 divided by 7. Okay, children? All right? Okay. This was your question number 13, option A and B. All right, it was there in page 15 of your workbook exercises 9.2. All right, I'll rub this off. I hope you have noted it down in your classwork copies, okay? All right. So let us try question number 14. Reduce the fractions using division method. Reduce the fraction using division division method. Okay. So the first fraction A is 20 divided by 90. So see children, here Generally, if you have something, generally if you have some zero, you can directly cut the zeros off. Okay. So basically, what I'm doing is, I'm getting twenty by ninety. They all have a zero after that. That means they are divisible by ten. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm dividing the numerator and the denominator by ten. So once I divide twenty by ten, how much I'll get? Two by nine. So basically, if you cut the zeros off, what do you get? You get 2 by 9, right? So that is basically what you are doing in division method. I taught you the shortcuts as well. I hope you understand. Alright children, that was your question number 14A. In question number 14B, in question number 14B, you have 63 by 84. Alright. Now children see 64 by 80, 63 by 84. They are both divisible by 3. Okay. 63 and 84 are both divisible by 3. So divide them by 3. 63 if you divide it by 3. You will get 3 to the 6. 3 ones are 3. Okay. And if you divide 84 by 3, how much do you get? How much do you get? 3 to the 6, 24. Alright, 3 eighths are 24. Okay, so how much do you get? You get 21 by 28. See, now 21 and 28 are both divisible by 7. So after dividing it by 7, how much do you get? You get 7 into 3 is 24. 7 for the 28, right? So 63 divided by 84 can be reduced to 3 by 4. So see children, once you reduce it to 3 by 4, they cannot be reduced any further. So this is the reduced form, the lowest form of the fraction 63 by 84. Okay. Now let us do an application problem, okay? Question number 13, 15 and 16 are very similar to this. Let us, do an, let us do an application problem. I hope you have noted it down in your copies. All right, let us do an application problem now. Okay, 17. This one is in page number 17. Question number 17 from page number 17. Alright. You see children, Renu, Renu and Surekha, Renu and Surekha were completing their homework. Renu completed 318. Renu completed completed 3 by 18 of her homework of her homework right and Surekha Surekha completed 
5 by 9 by 54 9 by 54 of her homework right so who completed more homework so you have to find out who completed more homework the first step step one is to reduce reduce 3 by 18 in the lowest form okay so you see 3 by 18 3 is divisible by 3 18 is divisible by 3 how much do you get 1 by 1 by 6, right? 1 by 6. So the reduced form of 3 by 18 is 1 by 6. Step 2 is reduce 9 by 54 into the lowest form. So 9 by 54 you can divide the numerator by 9, divide the denominator by 9. So what do you get? So what do you get? You get 1 by 6. So see children, Surekha, Renu completed her 1 sixth of her homework and Surekha completed also 1 sixth of her homework. So they completed the same amount of their homework, right? So what is the answer? The answer is that, the answer is, Renu and Renu and Surekha completed same amount of of homework. Okay. All right, children. Is it okay? So I want you Okay, I want you to do the same question Okay, I want you to do the same question where Renu completed 3 by 12th of her homework and Surekha completed 9 by 36th of her homework. Okay, I want you to know that who completed more homework. Who completed more homework. Okay, alright, please try it yourself. Let me give you another question where Rama... Rama ate 3 by 16 of a fruit and Shama ate 2 by 32 of her fruit. Who ate more? Okay. So please try both of these questions and let me know. Alright, I'll see you in the next class. Thank you.